Hi chefs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a baked fish in an aluminum foil bowl. So basically the bowl is just the way it's gonna be cooked. It's gonna be um, trapped inside the aluminum foil bowl and that's how it's gonna be cooked. So these are the ingredients. Here I just have some tilapia that was frozen and is now defrosted. We're gonna be using this zesty lemon juice, lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, onion powder, parsley flakes, garlic powder, a little bit of cilantro, and some black pepper, and you're gonna be needing aluminum foil. All right, let's get started. All right, chefs, so first things first, while we're prepping our fish, you wanna make sure that your oven is preheating at 350. All right, so I cut a piece of aluminum foil and my fish is going to fit right in the middle here. Now I'm going to show you beforehand what I mean by a fish boat. This is the vessel that it's going to cook in. So I want the foil big enough that I can form a boat. Just like that. And this is how the fish is going to be cooked. Okay, and it should look like this. These are the other fishes that I did. Okay, so now I went ahead and I seasoned those already. I'm gonna show you how to season. Of course, all of this is optional, it's up to you. But this is how I do mine. Okay, I coat it with lemon juice. So that's gonna be a nice, um, some moisture for that seasonings can stick to the fish going in with my onion powder make sure you flip your fish on both sides Italian seasoning now I'm not adding any salt here I'm trying to not use salt when I cook so it can be healthy but of course you can add salt there was my garlic powder Here's my parsley flakes. Um, parsley flakes, to me, have a very mild taste. I just like to add them for, you know, for show, because they look cute. <laughs> Cilantro, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. I just can't get away from my roots. I love cilantro. There's some pepper. And lastly, we're gonna add lemon pepper. Both sides. All right, so massage your fish, all those seasonings, use the seasonings that are on here. Coat that fish, make sure you massage it. Okay, and now, Gonna close it up. Wanna make sure that there is some ventilation in here so that the heat can come in just a little bit. Sorry for my mess here. All right, so you see a little bit of ventilation there. That's what you want. Now, I'm gonna bake these bad boys 30 minutes in the oven for 350 and we will be back when they're done. All right, so I just wanted to share with you that it's very important for you to wipe down all of your spices and seasonings after you cook because especially with raw items, you're touching your seasonings and then touching raw you know, items. That's not healthy, it's not good. You wanna stop the bacteria. So. Just when you're done, give it a nice wipe down if you have Clorox wipes so that we're all safe at home, okay? Just wanted to share that with you. As a side for the fish, I'm gonna be making um, vegetables. These were frozen in the bag. They were the, I think, summer veggies. Comes with carrots, um, cauliflower, and string beans. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add Probably like that's a tablespoon, two tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna put some salt in here. 
I'm gonna let it come to a boil. And that's it for the veggies. So I am feeling lazy today. So I'm gonna be making this as well, mushroom and green bean risotto from bird's eye. This is absolutely delicious. You guys need to try this. Like you need to pick it up ASAP, it's very good. I think it's done in like two minutes or something like that. So check it out. All right, fish is done. So we are going to start the plate. Put some risotto in the middle. Oops. Okay, next we are going to place our veggies on top. Fishes. Piece here. All right, I'm going to pour the water out of here. This is very hot. Okay, this is the juice that came out of that boat. juices put right down the middle and there you go here is our baked tilapia using vegetables and risotto I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I'll see you in my next video If you like this recipe, please follow my page at Cooking with Kelly Michelle on Instagram. Make sure to like my video, and if you use my recipe, please tag me in all of your photos and videos. Thanks so much for watching.